Hi everybody and welcome to Rhythmical Fun and Clip Launching. I'd like to know and please let me know in the comments if you find it hard to program interesting beats and patterns. Today I'm gonna explore a simple technique that you can use in basically any type of DAW that supports a Clip Launcher. May it be Ableton Live, Bitwig Studio, Logic Pro or FL Studio or basically any type of pattern based music application. The technique means that we're gonna have different pattern lengths for different uh, rhythmical tracks. And uh, when we play these uh, against each other, we will have a, a beating kind of rhythm and get an evolving kind of texture. But before we dive into the details, let's take a listen to the demo. Right, so the demo here is uh, like a suspenseful kind of uh, film score backdrop. So let's uh, begin by muting the melodic instruments here and focus on uh, the drum tracks. First we have a drum track uh, with this uh, drum machine with the Indian percussion e-kit. With a bunch of exotic Indian drums. And if we look at the first clip here and zoom out a little bit, you can see it's uh, two bars long. And the second track is uh, one and a half bar. The first rhythmical track sounds like this. And then we add the second one. And we get to see by the progressing white line on each of the individual clips that uh, we get a beating and a different change in, in time. Right, so when we stack these different tracks with different pattern lengths, we basically get uh, polyrhythm. Now you've probably heard of a Euclidean rhythm and polyrhythm and Euclidean rhythm is uh, related concepts but uh, polyrhythm is basically a broader concept. While Euclidean is more of an algorithmic approach where you uh, distribute beats across a defined set of steps. You can let me know in the comments if you want us to talk more about Euclidean rhythms on the channel. And then on the third clip we have almost one and a half bar. You can see it finishes a little bit early. One and a half bar would be like this, but uh, we're finishing a little bit early, like that. And these uh, three different drums sounds like this together. So if we listen closely, we can hear that the first track gives us a uh, quite a defined rhythm. And then these other rhythm rhythmical tracks, uh, since they have different pattern lengths, they will beat against this uh, first uh, more on the floor kind of pattern. And then finally we have a kind of rattling sound shh, on uh, the fourth clip here, which is also four bar long. And together we get a very interesting and suspenseful rhythm that will evolve since we have different pattern lengths. Right, so that's the rhythmical part. Now if we take a look at the harmony and the melodic part of this little suspenseful cue, you can see that they are 18 bars long, these uh, two melodic uh, patterns. Thank you. 
then we have a sine arp uh, on the third clip, which is uh, six bars long. And six times three is 18. So uh, it's going to go well with this, uh, with the clips above. And then we have a clip of hi-hats, repeating hi-hats with an arpeggio. And uh, I'm changing the rate for, for the arpeggio to make this kind of fast flams. A typical found in, in trap music. But basically it's a four bar pattern. And then finally we have the bass, which is uh, also a two bar pattern. So what I want to say with this is experiment with different uh, pattern lengths for your rhythmical material and you might end up with uh, really fun and interesting backdrops for, for the music. And you might use this uh, for suspenseful cues or for generative music, but uh, you could also use this in a, a more like a pop context or EDM context to create, uh, to create interesting rhythms in, in the background for your tracks. Right, so there's some tips on how to create interesting rhythms in your DAW. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for watching today and don't forget to check out my course on Bitwig Studio if you want to learn the foundation and core of Bitwig Studio. Thanks for watching today, my name is Matthias. Bye.